Right? So GQ is Madeline. Ooh. Oh, this is awkward. Who are you? Name is Forge, Storm. I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. Eh? Interest peaked. And of course, that's where they would end the episode, because why not? Okay. Hey there, NavyDoc5184 here. Welcome to my next reaction to X-Men 97. We are on episode four, Motendo slash Life Death Part One. So I'm not gonna say I'm dreading this episode, but it's got me very anxious because I know, based on what I've been hearing, episode five is a doozy. So I'm very curious on what's even gonna happen in episode four. On top of that, I would still like to know what is gonna happen. We know we got uh, Roberto was finally um, more used than that, so hopefully we'll get some more of his story with that. Um, would love to see what is going to happen between Storm and Forge. I mean, what is he going to do to get her her powers back? And then also, what's up with Jean and Madeline? I mean, I know Madeline left, but what is that going to mean for Cyclops and Jean? I mean, there's so much going on so already, and it's freaking crazy. And I just, man, I don't know if I can handle another episode like last episode because it honestly did not give us much time to breathe at all. So we shall see what this episode has to go in store. So we will go ahead and get started. We're on episode four of X-Men 97, Motendo slash Life Death Part 1. Yeah, take some cream with it. Aw, thanks, Remy. You're sweet. But our new boss beat you to the pot. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an orders. No. Luckily, I am giving them. Dang. That's doubly cold considering what we know. Two thumbs that blast fireworks and turns 18 today? Me. Ah, oh, happy birthday, sweet pea. How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. What do we think? I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I had a feeling Magneto was not going to go for that. ...about the professor or Jean and her clone. The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. How many times I heard that in my gaming career? <laughs> what's it doing? Oh, okay, what? Really? Okay, what is going on now? Motendo, though, that it's got to mean something. How long were we playing? I assume I won. Hey, what? Whoa, okay, what? The go? Uh, that's a good question. What? Did they get absorbed into the game? What if there's cameras around? My parents could see me on TV. Guys! Do you really think everyone is focused on you? Yes. I'll give it. I'll give him this. At least he's honest. Maybe a little misguided, but at least he's honest. Wait a second. It could be a trap. Hello? Whoa, hold up. Genosha? Okay. Like way back when, Genosha? So they actually are in the game, but what is the game? Uh I didn't do that. Maybe it was her. Okay, and who is she? Uh Duh. Okay. You're totally in a video game. Pay attention to the young lady. You're like totally in a video game. Okay, but who are you? Mojo here, putting the X-Men through overly complicated death traps to entertain my slaves! <laughs> Indentured audiences, sorry! Okay, I guess this is somebody I'm supposed to know, but I do not remember. You're not just in a video game, honey. You're the star! Where every level is based off your own memories! Okay, well, uh, happy 18th birthday, I guess. 
Picture this. The future of Motendo, that's Mo for Mojo, in every home. On every world, in every dimension. Ha! Zapping up nom 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 energy from the brains of all who play. I, I don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but... Stakes. So they literally brought the Matrix into X-Men. Jeez. Replay the golden hits, no growing up. Think about it, Jubes. Jubilee, no, oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this. It's loading. Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This actually is kind of cool. Okay. Ooh. Oh my, that was a big hit. How did you get my health back? That wasn't me. Hacking? Spir okay. Spiral. This is what you get when you kill tech support. For failing to kill the boss. Nothing wrong. <laughs> now shut. Okay, I like the fact that there are high stakes here, but they feel a little less, um, I'll think of the word later, probably. I uh, should probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These levels are taking me back. That's the problem, Jubilee. None of this is real. Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the face. Uh, like that. Now, question is, who did that? I am Mag. Oh no, Jubilee! I don't see how you can take Magneto on by yourself. Okay, he's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. I just need to wait for it to cycle. Okay, that's fair point. I gotta remember video games, so think video game logic. Okay. One more. <laughs> there you go. All right, how much damage did that do, though? Ooh, nice! Nice! I was about to say, based on the scream, that sounded like a win. Nice! Alright, now how do you heal him? No, no! This can't be happening! White mage! We need a white mage! Where's our white mage? An extra life! How did that get in there? Nicely done. Did I die? Uh, you I were did. close! Oh, thank goodness! I messed up. <laughs> Big time. All right, well, hopefully she learned her lesson. Okay. Now what? Okay, well, now what's going on? I hacked you out of the game server and into Mojo's broadcast servers to buy us some time. Okay, but who are you? He's in league with Mojo. Zip it, Zip it Acosta. <laughs> uh, wait. Like I said... We go way back. Whoa! Gonna hit pause here for a second. I got a few questions. Explain everything! You gotta test a game before launch. I've played these levels inside and out. Relived the glory days more than I care to count, but note the uh, hair oh. wrinkles. Okay, so we got an older Jubilee. I know a part of you wants to hang here. It always stays the same, but that's not living. Life's a total risk, and it's on you. Take it. So weird to hear that coming from Jubilee. Now, what do you say we destroy Mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here? Now let's go. Oh! Hello! Two Jubilees. Jesus. Oh my. Whoa! I got him! My man! It ain't over till the fat desperate sings! Okay, so that's what Roberto can do. You rats may have cancelled me today, but I swear I'll cut you in the reboot! Yeah, good luck with that, Mojo! Wow. I I am not going to lie. I don't think I would mind a series that was based completely off this premise. 
That would be kind of cool. You could have. Yeah. Talk about risk. Uh oh. Woo. Alrighty then. Oh. Okay, so they literally put two episodes in one. Interesting. My papa's bison chili. It's a leaner cut. Gives room for the spices to do their magic. Not gonna lie, that sounds great. I don't know if I can eat it, though, with my diabetes. I still want to know how he plans to get her powers back. I miss soaring. The wind in my hair. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. Just adapted and got a little creative. Let's okay. Go for a ride. Looks like you got creative. All right. I'm going old school. I like it. I wonder what Forge's story is, though. The name sounds familiar, but nothing's clicking in my head to really remind me of who he is and what's special about him. Beautiful, isn't it? That owl. I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. The winds here never shift. They always blow east. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. Yeah, she she would know better than anyone, pretty much. To reverse in what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could safely channel such power. You ready? You know, I want to feel good about this, but this feels way too easy. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise winds and move the desert sands. Oh, did it work? Please, winds, hear me. Yeah, that felt way too easy for her to get her powers back that easy. I mean, one can hope, but the way this series has been going, no way they can let anything be that easy. You're still working on the machine. Why is fixing me so important to you? That's a good question. After the war, the Defense Department offered to help me. As long as I helped them build some devices. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. You made these? No. A scientist in Scotland did. Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington. I was hurting, lost. If I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. So you lied. It hasn't all been lies. I'm a little lost right now. Don't you dare. Aurora, look at me. I love you. That was fat. You meant to make me a goddess. Instead, you have fashioned a fool. I feel he had good intentions, but though it does make me wonder, was he able to really fix her, or did he just say that to get her? What's going on now? I feel like this is a dream sequence of some sort. Aurora! How did I return here? What happened? What's going on? This can't be good. Get out of my home, you damn demon! Oh! What? Live disappointed. What is that? I feast on misery, and I. The adversary shall not waste my meal. What? Okay. Huh. All right. That was X Men ninety seven episode four Motendo slash Life Death Part One, and. Uh, I don't know if I want to call it an episode. It literally felt like it was just two episodes in one. Though it does make a little sense why it was titled the way it was. I mean, I was thrown off right at the beginning because I'm like, 
why they listed Motendo slash Life Death Part 1 and it only said Motendo, but I see why they did that, but very interesting. I would definitely say I received no answers from that one. If anything, I got more questions, which again, it's just one of those things that just, man, it just worries me for the next episode. Man, I don't even know what to think. So uh, I guess I'll just start with the episode of Motendo. I got to say, I actually kind of appreciated that one. It's like, even though it was... Um, I'm not, it, it definitely was action-packed and definitely had high stakes, but at the same time, it felt... I know I was struggling to find the word. I want. I don't know if lighthearted is the correct word, but that's the closest one that I can come up with that would properly fit what it was because it didn't feel as stressful as the last episode. And, you know, it had some nice moments. It was actually kind of cool seeing an over -ju Jubilee, so... Um, but I think that was a good character episode for Jubilee, considering at the beginning how she is just so focused on celebrating her birthday and everything but then after her um well a with her experience you know in the game and then you know nearly losing roberto but then also dealing with her older self you know kind of really coming of age in a sense you know and then um and honestly we knew the kiss was coming i mean that was teased so hard even in episode one you knew that Roberto and Jubilee were going to be a thing. So it's kind of nice that they actually kind of pulled the trigger on there. And I, I will say this again. I think that for me, that was really appreciated that it was a little more lighthearted. And as I said, I would not mind a whole series, you know, and it doesn't even have to have canon events or anything. Just give me a series where they're all just in like a video game. That would really be something that I think would be kind of fun to watch. I wouldn't make them longer episode, kind of like way back in the day when they had like those really short cartoons that were only like, you know, you'd show them for like a couple minutes before an actual movie started, something like that. That would be really cool. Or if they made like shorts, I mean, especially now with the thing that YouTube's coming out with where you can make three minute shorts, something like that I think would be really cool to do, but I don't know, we'll see. But um. So that was a nice episode, nice fun episode. You know, no idea who Mojo was. I don't remember if he was in the original series or not, but I'm assuming that he was considering that Jubilee knew him. So I'm going to assume that he was an X-Men villain at one point and I just probably just flat out forgot about him. So I don't know, I'll look it up after we get done. Now onto the second part of the episode, which was actually Life Death Part 1. Um, again, I'm not gonna lie um, before I get into it, I, I don't know how I feel about how they did that. It was kind of nice that they didn't jumble the stories together going back and forth. But at the same time, it just felt weird for them to do that to where it's just you put basically two short episodes into one. But at the same time, it's like, well, it felt weird and I really don't know how I feel about it. At the same time, I can at least say I kind of appreciate not having the stories jumbled together. Now, granted, I don't know at what point in the timeline per se each story took place. You know, like, was the whole thing with Storm and Forge going on at the exact same time? Was it after? Was it before? I don't know. But, at, you know, at the same time, at least the stories didn't get jumbled together and you have to try to keep track of, you know, what point in time it is. You can kind of focus on the actual story that's going on. So I do appreciate that aspect of it. But at the same time, it made it feel, I wouldn't say rushed, but, you know, just... Well, maybe rushed is the word because Forge going off and already admitting his love for Storm already, it's just like... Dude, you've only been in the show for a total of maybe 10 minutes by now, and you're trying to say you love Storm already, but I, there's got to be some sort of past. And honestly, with what uh, was revealed about him, about how, he, you know, there were obviously some parts he lied, so it makes me wonder, did he lie about knowing Professor X? Was he really his friend? Can he really bring Storm's powers back? I don't know. It kind of makes me wonder what that machine was, you know? And even though I was hopeful, at, you know, at the same time, it's kind of like, I should have known better, you know, that, that was way too quick to come up with a solution for that. So I should have known better than to think that she was going to get her powers back from that. But hey, one can always hope. But, um, and actually now that I think about it though, because I was actually kind of thinking like compared to the other three ep episodes, I feel like this one was underwhelming in a sense, but I'm going to say this. I wonder if that was done intentionally because based off the emotions that people have said they felt with that with episode five maybe that's a good thing because i mean with everything that happened in episodes one through three especially episode three you know it's just like 
my mind needed a break. I'm not gonna lie, my mind needed a break. So I don't wanna say, so when I say that this was underwhelming episode, it's only in the fact that it was definitely, there wasn't as much at stake than there were in the previous episodes. I mean, with episode one, you know, we had, you know, the fight with the revised Sentinels. Episode two, you had Magneto turning himself in and having to deal with the people, um, you know, trying to take him out as well as the judges and then Storm losing her powers. Episode three, you got Sinister getting to the picture, um, Duplicate Gene, I mean, everything that went on there. So, you know what? It was nice to have a break where we just had just basically one thing to worry about you know with each part of the episode it wouldn't feel like there was too much going so it was nice to deal with that lack of stimuli compared to the other episodes so when i say underwhelming it's just in the fact that you know it wasn't like you were just getting bombarded with one thing after another so it was still a good episode but man i i, I don't know how many times i've said it already but i can't imagine what episode five is going to do to me if it's as bad and when I say it's bad, if it's going to wreck me as much as everybody says it is, I, I may have to take a small break from doing this, but we shall see. We shall see. I'm very curious. I'm like, what in the world could possibly happen that would make it so bad that would wreck everybody so much? I mean, even my cousin who's, you know, I mean, I got to give him credit. He has tried so hard to not spoil me with anything. He has been wanting me to do this for a while now. So the fact that he hasn't spoiled anything, I got to give him props for that. And he's finally going to get what he wanted because he kept telling me, he's like, when are you doing this? Because we got to talk about it. So here we are. We He's just got one more week to wait and we can finally talk about it. And the question is, am I going to want to talk about it after that? But then again, if it's as emotionally wrecking as he says it is, I may need to talk to him about it. But either which way, I'm going to go ahead and um, leave it there. And thank you all for stopping by and watching this reaction. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And also don't or forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you have, make sure you also hit the notification bell so you can be aware of any time a new reaction gets uploaded. And if you would like to join the channel you can receive some benefits while supporting the channel a little bit extra so with that you got two separate tiers and they have monthly fees but with each tier you get certain perks and at the basic level one of the perks you'll get is you'll get these reactions ad free as well as um, early access but then on top of that with an episode like this you'll also have access to the full watch along so you'll be able to watch the full episode along with me you just have to have a copy of the episode yourself so you just watch it on one screen with disney plus and then you can have my watch along the other one so we're basically watching it together so uh that's just a few things to look forward to if you're interested feel free to click the join button and you can take a look at uh what you can get with each level but all that being said thank you all for stopping by make sure you check out some of my other uh, reactions to x-men 97 and i will catch you all down the road